Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and it's summer vacation, and it's been a while. I'm sorry I haven't made any videos for you guys lately. Uh, I've been swamped. There's just so much to do with family. Uh, summer's kind of a slow season for coral, but it's a lot of trade shows and a lot of getting together with vendors and getting stuff done that we normally don't have time to do during the year. So, sorry about that, guys. I do miss you. So, it was great seeing everyone at Reef of Palooza in New York. It was an awesome time. I actually got to take some time from my booth this year and do some other things. So, anyway, guys, I just wanted to tell you, since I don't really have much time, but I wanted to do a video just so I don't get too distant from you. But we did have a pump, those of you who are regular watchers, and my old j went down. So I upgraded to this massive DCP 20,000. I did have a um, j I think it was a DCT uh, 12,000. So when I went from a 12,000 to a 20,000, it just, I couldn't believe the power difference. That thing is a beast. It barely fits in there. Um, but that's why I love the unions and I love the PVC. You know, the pump went down. All I had to do is disconnect that union right there. And I was back up and running in a few minutes with a new pump. So I'll go into that pump later on and show you guys. But just, just check out this beastie looking controller. This thing is massive. I just can't believe it. Compared to this, and I thought this was big. You know, this little 100 watt uh, Jabo, you know, 12,000. So. Anyway, uh, lots of updates for you guys, but I'm just making this quick. There's some cool new inventory I can't wait to show off. There's also this amazing smart digital water testing kit. We got this at Reef of Palooza. The people who were pushing the product, um, you know, had me, had me intrigued. So it is Bluetooth, it has GPS, it does all kinds of awesome stuff. So I'm going to let you guys know how that works out when I open it up and test it. It's really simple to use, and I just want to see, compared to the Hannah Checker, how accurate it is. And for those of you who don't do regular water testing, it may be a savior for you. So, a lot of times you just want to keep your water in balance. And for me, I kind of screwed up the other day. You know, I get so busy with the world, with life, with everything. I had these big gallon jugs in here, and you forget to test sometimes. You're like, ah, oh, my system's great, um, but you start neglecting things. I had a hose get clogged and it blew off, as you can tell by this mess here. So if you don't check stuff regularly, you know, that can be a problem. So that's why I actually went down to smaller bottles. Because over here I had the gallon jugs and it's just cool because I'm like, yeah, I don't have to look at it for a month, you know. Set it and forget it, it's great. But it's always good to maintenance your equipment and check it out. So and I did recently switch to a new um, the high capacity GFO. So I've been running that to see how that works out. And I switched over, I have the black socks over the filter because we were getting algae on here. Now they're completely spotless inside. So I've really uh, been happy with that. And then up top, I switched to the cat ion, the anion, and the mixed bed. So trying to give myself really crystal clean water for everything. So when you know what you start out with, it's a whole lot easier to go from there. But when you don't know what you're starting out with, you don't, you're using water and you think you're having great success, I've talked about this before, um, you know, you're just setting yourself up for failure because in the long term, heavy minerals do build up in the water and they can mess with your corals. So, all right, I know you guys probably want me to talk about these lights. They're unfreaking believable. The coverage I've gotten with these is stunning. Um, I can't wait to do a full review on these, but I didn't want to rush it. I didn't, you know, even though everybody likes them, they're brand new. I just, until I test them enough, I don't want to say anything without, you know, actually using them. So, I'm not an instant fanboy. I like to test my equipment, then I fall in love. So, but yeah, there you guys go. I will do a review on them and the bar lights, the strips. Those are the Orphix, by the way. Those of you who don't know the brand name, they are the Orphix. So, I'm just admiring the colors. VRS said it best. These are the only lights that you turn on on every channel uh, on full and it just looks stunning. You don't have to play with it. You don't have to dial down the reds and yellows and the greens and it just it looks gorgeous. So I want to upgrade my other lights. Some of my um, LEDs, you know, they're great for the chalices. And then the T5s over here are 
unfreaking believable. I can't believe the way they grow some of the corals. I just threw some pallies in here just to test out the difference between the LEDs and right away I noticed a difference. So just to make sure that it's not the water flow change or there's something else that's different, I want to keep a frag of the same coral in each tank. Now I know I say I'm always going to do this, but I always end up selling the frag and it's tough to sometimes just, just to do that test and keep it there. So I'm always turning coral over. But there you guys go. That was my quick uh, five minute update for Coral Lust. There's so much to come. I just, like I said, uh, in our next show, Magnus coming up in Vegas. We just finished Reef of Palooza, and then Splash is going to be in PA. So those of you who are in Pennsylvania, we are going to come and bring the fire. We're going to have a great booth set up for you. It's going to be an amazing show. So make sure you get the details and you show up for that. So I will definitely, definitely update you guys on the info for that. So do your water testing. Check your tanks out. Here's the canister filters. Great, great product, by the way. Um, we use these for our trade show with the frag tanks. So, so yeah. Anyway, all right, guys. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralust community.